Ah, you've returned. What did you discover? We were just talking about what we saw last night. Yes, he secured a special vase to collect souls to further his ambition. And that's why they want civil war in the Empire, to get 50,000 souls. Oh, knowing that, it's easy to see why James wanted Simone as court magician. The Moon Spirit holds the power of persuasion over people's hearts and memories. Yes, when we first met Simone in the space-time control tower, she was controlling the soldiers around us. Are you suggesting she has enough power to control all of James' army? It is possible, but even if she doesn't, all she has to do is control the command structure and the others will fall in line. Well, all I gotta say is that busty freak of nature has to be stopped. I mean, she's killing people just to collect souls for Zion. How whack is that? The General Assembly has accepted Granford's proposal. Here is the letter I have prepared to inform him of the situation. Please return it to him at once. Go. There is not a moment to waste. Say there, since you're going that way, you might want to take a Yoi and me along. The wind brought me some good news recently, and it should come in handy. We can take one other with us. Who should that be? Hugh! Hmm? I need to speak with you privately. Oh, uh, right. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Wait right here. Just what the hell do you think you're doing, breaking the rules of the trial? You don't understand. There were changes. Things happened. This Zion character showed up? The wind told me about the changes. What I want to know is why did you take yourself out of the running to be a lord? Isn't it obvious? It was to save a little thing I like to call the world. Yes, but if you had become a lord, you would have had access to secret arts. The secret arts are more powerful than all of us put together. You could have... There wasn't time. Simple as that. My trial wouldn't have ended for another year. Do you really think this world would still even be here? Talk is cheap. This was the time for action, and I did what was necessary. <sighs> I didn't mean for you to see that. Sorry. Who is the other candidate for Lord? Some people say he's a prodigy. The rules of the trial say that two have to compete, and I was his opponent. At least this way, the end result for him is positive. He will gain the status of Lord uncontested.
It's your fault that Hugh gave up his quest to become a master. Why did you make him give up? I'm not taking that. It is your fault. And now I can't duel him for the honor of becoming a master. I'm not his stalking horse, but this was my chance to prove that. Stalking horse? What's that? In chess, it's a piece you use to make your opponent get serious in his game, and then sacrifice so he can be better. A rival? I studied nature until I thought I'd die or go mad. And at last, I was qualified to take the master's test. But the elders decreed that Hugh had more talent, and they put him in line to take the master's test. You're a dark messenger, so you understand how essential character is in an elemental messenger, right? But no matter how hard I studied, no matter how hard I trained, I would not close the gap in character. That's why I wanted to duel Hugh. But Hugh is not the kind to even recognize his natural talent. I wasn't even sure he'd duel me. When he broke the rules of the test and quit before I had the chance, it was all wrong. I didn't want it to end like this. I didn't want to gain the title by attrition. Hey, sorry to have smashed your plan there, guy. I really am. Hugh! Tell you what, if you want to have a duel, let's have one now. We're inside, and there's a roof, so it would be hard to gather wind spirits. What do you say? The person who gathers the most wind spirits wins. But I'm warning you, I'm not going to make it easy. How about it? I accept. Why won't any of the wind spirits come? Does that mean they have equal abilities? That's it. Forget it. Forget it? I'd say you proved yourself just now. Our efforts canceled each other out. No. I lost and you know it. You saw it? Our power was equal. Are you trying to say I threw the match? Why would I do that? No, that's not what I was saying. If our abilities were equal as we saw, and you gave it all up to save the world, then... Then that just proves that you were the better man. One that I could never become. The path you chose was far more difficult than becoming a master. I made the choice, and I have no regrets. I gave up one thing, but I got something far more valuable. I know. And so you've left the Wind Spirit world to me. By default. I'll tell you what, though. I can teach you a secret art that may help you. Secret art? I know you're a quick learner, so with that knowledge, the rest is up to you. Train hard so you can learn to handle the new skill well. I know that little trick will come in handy. Thanks! I've been waiting for you to come. I see that you've brought the wind and moon messengers as well. Good. Ah! He knows about you and Yuyoi! Yes, and I know about you too, Dark Fairy. 
You... Uh, you can see Raimi? Raimi's so happy when she can talk to new people and they... they talk back. Raimi? You are not going to cry. So, shall we begin the meeting? I'll cut right to the point. I am a spirit messenger as well. When I disappeared, it was because my awakening as a spirit messenger had begun. I had gone to the ground spirit. Then, why have you returned to this place? Once people are chosen as spirit messengers, they cannot return to the life they knew before. Yeah, tell me about it. True. However, the ground spirit made a decision that will affect us all. A decree that our identity should not be concealed. Rather, we should reveal what we are and try to use our powers to save this world from destruction. Did the others concur? I must know, because we too chose to reveal our true selves to save people. And we thought that was the end of the party. But it sounds to me like you're calling for one more round. Not so long ago, I wouldn't have been able to even fathom a story like this. Lord Granford, were you aware that this war was fabricated? Fabricated? Yes, my mission was to follow a certain fugitive that has now come to serve as court magician for Second Prince James. And it gets worse! A spirit messenger is involved, and they're using this creepy vase to collect the souls of those that have died in battle! Collecting the spirits of the dead? Who would stoop so low? It's all beginning to make sense now. Hmm, do you have some other information that may benefit us? I am an assistant to the Granford family, but also a dark spirit messenger. There have been strange happenings within James' army, so I investigated. I found that they are sending soldiers to areas with no strategic value whatsoever. Maybe it's part of their new, don't ask, don't tell, but we're sending you to nowhere anyway policy. You know, business as usual. I sincerely doubt that. The destinations they've marched to conceal gates to the underworld, crafted by dark messengers. At first, I thought this a coincidence, but I've confirmed that there was a gate at the destination of every march. Their objective was to destroy the gates. What else do you know about the underworld gates? They are placed where human eyes cannot see them, yet marked with stones of spiritual significance. The spirits of the dead pass through them to the underworld. It is the task of dark messengers to manage this flow. We built the gates in many places so that the souls of the dead would not be made to wander the world of the living. So destroying these gates... They intend to use the lack of gates as a means to collect souls efficiently. We're finally getting to the bottom of this plot. I don't know about you, but my head is pounding like you wouldn't believe. It appears that our objectives are the same. Will you cooperate with us to achieve victory for the common good, Dark Master? <gasps> no way! Oh, he never said anything about being a Dark Master. But, well... Why are you so silent? You are the Dark Master, are you not? If he is, I don't even think he knows. He has amnesia. Amnesia? I don't doubt your power of perception, but is he really a Dark Master? As Dark Spirit Messengers, we possess the ability to see within people's souls. We recognize the same being, even if the outward appearance has changed. I am confident that this person has the soul of a Dark Master. Well, you might be right. Even though he doesn't know his power, he can see Raimi, and also ghosts. That's pretty powerful proof. Raimi doesn't know why she didn't see it before. Besides, Raimi thinks his dark aura is what attracted her. He attracted you because you both share a dark alignment. You were attracted to the power of this Dark Master on an unconscious level. I knew it was rare for a spirit messenger to travel with a fairy, but it makes sense if he's a master. But what would a master's soul be doing here? 
someone has destroyed Dark Mountain. The Master was probably killed at that time. Wait a minute. Are you telling me Slain is undead? I don't believe so. We are Dark Messengers who rule only over the souls of the dead. I do not know all the details, but he seems to have used a secret art known only to a Master. Indeed. However, his memory is lost, so he will be of little assistance in determining what happened. Since his memory is lost, the only way to learn more will be to go to Dark Mountain. I believe that is a focal point since the enemy is using a spirit base. They must be working with a Dark Messenger as well. That sounds like the best course of action. I would like you to go to Dark Mountain to gather clues. Sounds like a plan. If we knew where this place was, that is. You can reach it via the transfer gate in the port town of Delphinia, southwest of here. Since the southern half of the Empire is under the control of Aggressival's troops, you're well advised to take the route through the Imperial capital. The capital? How are we going to get there? Fly? I'm sorry. I can only offer advice on the route. We will resist with all our troop strength. You must do the rest. <laughs> 